the total you, and this is your host, Evangelist Belief Wallace. We're coming to you today with something I think that is very important. It's a topic that's dear to our hearts because remember, we're talking about the total you. It's the mind, the body, the soul, and the spirit. When we talk about the total you, we think about all those different things that make up that one person. But what about the church? The church is also designed in a similar fashion. There are different parts of the body of the church, but they're all in one body. And that's what we're talking about today. The one body, but many members in the church. So we're gonna discuss with you today about 1 Corinthians 12. And here with me today is a very youthful and dynamic evangelist, apostle, and I'm gonna have her introduce herself. Praise the Lord, everyone. Giving honor to God. He is the head of my life. His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And to the very fine angel of this church and the first lady, I greet you in the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am Apostle Cynthia Gaither, called by God, and I'm just grateful to be in the body. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Uh, Apostle, I'm, I'm going to get it straight because That's okay. That's <laughs> we, um, as a church body, a lot of us have a hard time dealing with the titles of apostle. Yes. And this is one reason why we're discussing this today because yes. a lot of people don't realize that it takes a lot of us to make this whole church work. Amen. And it's not about the individual churches. Amen. It's about the ministry that we have to spread the good news. Amen. And that's what it's all about. Amen. All right? And so there are different members that we've got to do. Amen. A different, a lot of different parts that make this whole thing work. Amen. 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 So, and because she is called by God to be an apostle, we're going to discuss these different parts Amen. of the body. Amen. 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 So let's go first to 1 Corinthians 12. And we can read the whole thing if you want. I'll read mine. We got the King James Version? Yes. Okay. Well, there may be, this is a skull fill, so there might be some little wording that's slightly okay. different. Well, go okay. Ahead. Okay. Uh, beginning with the 12th verse, it says, For as the body is one yes. and hath many members, and all members of that one body, being many, are one body. So also is Christ. Amen. Amen. So it's just saying that there are many bodies, but they're all only one body, and that body is the body Christ. Christ. Okay? So we can't think of it as just all of us are just separated. No. And and I'm gonna go a little bit further. Okay. It says, For by one spirit we are all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. Yes. It doesn't matter that we're of different nationalities. No, our ethnicity has nothing to do with it. Thank Glory you. To God. So if I go over to Africa and they're in the body of Christ, Amen. we can speak the same language. Amen. And that's what we did. When we went to Africa, to Ghana, mm -hmm. um, the people were praising the Lord just like we praise yes. over here. Yes. Glory so, to God. And they were speaking the same language. Yes, they were edifying and glorifying God, just like we do over here. Yes. In the Philippines, likewise. And in, in, the, in um, Mexico, same way. Amen. It doesn't matter because we're all Amen. in the one body of Christ. Amen. Amen. There's only one Lord, one Thank Spirit. You. Thank you. Thank so, you. God is an awesome God. I had the experience once of rejoicing with the Jews for Jesus. Amen. And uh, they spoke in tongues. They had been baptized in Jesus' name. See? And they praised God just like the rest of the body of Christ. See? And we have to remember, God is no respectable person, so why should we? Be? Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory to God. If he can, if God, God can use anyone he wants, why, what, you, who Jesus. are you? Amen. 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 You're going to cut them off, cut the blessings of God. It's the word that's going to go forth. Thank that's what Jesus. it's about, right? Amen. Okay. And verse 15, 14 says, For the body is not one member, but many. Many. Okay. And if the foot shall say, Because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? I'll keep going. And if the ear shall say, Because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? And if the whole were hearing, where was the smelling? My God. 
That's like saying, if I can sing, I can't preach. My God. I can sing, but I can't prophesy. My so God. your gift of prophesying is, is edifying the body. I can't do that. My God. But see, God has given you that, so why not do it? It's for, because you can edify the body of Christ by your prophecy. Amen. Amen. I can edify the body of Christ with a song. Amen. It's still the same. Amen. As long as we're doing it to edify the body. Because to, we are working out of the Holy Ghost. Thank you. There's just a full connection. Thank you. Whether it's the eye or the ear Thank or you. the nose, which the Lord uses here as an analogy yeah. to show us that we're all connected. Thank you. We are connected. And we're incomplete if we do not allow all of the parts in the body to operate. Oh my goodness, say Hallelujah. that again. Incomplete. Incomplete. We're incomplete. That means when you get to one part and it doesn't fit in, Amen. something gets it's missed. Incomplete. It's something gets it's missed. Incomplete. Yes. Without a heart, there's no pumping of the blood. There's no oxygen to the brain. Thank Hallelujah. You. So the heart is just as important as the big toe. Thank Glory you. Glory to God. Thank you. Same, it is the same in the body of Christ. All of the parts that God has given to the body are all necessary for the body to operate and function in unity. Thank you. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank and you it Jesus. has to operate. So if one part of the body says there, oh, we're going to get to that. One party says, I am a bishop. I am this. But if you're not allowing the person who is singing or who's prophesying, then the connection is being lost and somebody is missing something. Amen. Amen. Somebody who is looking for the word to come through Amen. is missing it because you didn't, you were too high and mighty with your Glory gift. Glory to God. Well, you don't do this. We don't do that. Excuse me, this is the body of God. Amen. We all have the same unbiblical cord. Thank you. Through the Holy Ghost. All from right. Christ Jesus. All right. Hallelujah. The fetus has the unbiblical cord from the mother. We in the body of Christ, we are all feeding off of the Holy Ghost. Thank you. Hallelujah. And there really is no hierarchy in God. Thank you. Thank Men you. Men have brought in and set people apart and made this person that and that person that. But we know that the scripture says there is no respecter of persons. persons. Right. And all of these people in the body are gifts to the body for the Thank perfecting you. of the church. Not for the incompletion, but for the perfecting. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Glory to God. And that's what it's about, the perfecting of the saints. Yes. Yes. Wait, if I don't get fed over here and somebody's given a word over here, I don't hear because somebody is blocking me from doing it. Yes. Okay, then that person goes lacking. Absolutely. And that person may have, wait, God may have sent that person into the church Amen. to receive a word. Amen. But because somebody said, we don't do that here. Amen. That person didn't receive what they were supposed to receive. Amen. Glory to God. And that, wait a minute, I don't want to be, wait, the word says stumbling block. Amen. Or hindering spirit. Thank you. Hallelujah. We don't Glory want that. God. That's Hallelujah. not what we want. We want this to be a unified body of Christ that works. So we don't want to bring in the traditions of men. We want to follow the word of God, which tells us that we should come together and we should agree in the body of Christ. Thank you. And that we shouldn't have the schism, which was the Sunday school lesson today. Thank you. Yes. Schism is a division, and it's really of the devil. Thank Glory you. Glory to God. To keep the saints from having one accord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory Thank you. to God. See? Thank you. Jesus. We're going to get this, okay? Thank we you, hope Jesus. you're understanding what this this is so important. Yes, it is. This unity, this one yes. body with yes, so many is. members Glory working to, to the good of God. Glory Amen. To God. And we're at verse uh, 18, I think it was. Yes. But now has God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it has pleased him. Yes. Remember we were talking Hallelujah. about people stopping the gifts of God? Wait a oh minute. God. God placed them there. Of you course. didn't. A man has no dealing stopping what God has put in no place. No real authority to do it. Oh, Hallelujah. no authority. Glory to God. Well, wait, I'm a bishop. I'm the potentate. My God. I, I get excited. I mean, I get upset with this. I am the be-all, the end-all, but I can't, I'm not supposed to tell you 
This is what God has put in. Yes. You have no business messing with God's authority. Amen. 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 No business. That scripture says they were placed as it pleased God. Thank you. So God did the placement. Thank you. And man should not make a selection based on a person's status in society, how much money they give Thank in tithes or what they do. We should be praying and asking the Lord, where would you have this person be in the body of Christ? Thank you. Glory Thank to God. you. And then when they do acknowledge their God, I mean, a lot of people, they have gifts that God has given them. But they don't want to step forward in those gifts because they're scared somebody's going to stop them. Amen. And say, well, this is, you can't operate like that. Amen. Wait a minute. Amen. God has given them that gift. Amen. And they're trying to walk in it. And then someone stops them. Amen. Can you imagine what that does to that person? Amen. Amen. It discourages them. Yeah. It kills their spirit. It may even cause them to run out of the church. Walk being, right on back. Or even to become disobedient. Thank you. Because they don't understand. And I have heard a lot of people say, well, God called me into the ministry. They called me to be such and such. But the person says, well, you, wait, this is me. You're female. That is a problem in the church, even though, uh, Pastor, it's not in the Word of God. I think what happens is mm -hmm. we come in the church and we bring traditions, Thank you. we bring myths, we yeah. bring folk, uh, folklore, we bring superstitions, yes. we bring all of that in and we mix it up with the Word of God. Thank you. And uh, as an attorney, I see it as gender bias in the Thank church. You. And it really is illegal because in the world you cannot discriminate against a person based on their gender, but yet we're doing it in the church when it comes to women. And what, what the, what the uh, thing we've always learned, what was the first message preached? It was preached by a woman. Amen. So Amen. it doesn't matter if God can use a woman to tell the disciples that he is risen. Amen. Why can't we as a church use And then God never said, yeah. discounted women. Yeah. And if he did, would he be a just God? Thank you. If he died, hallelujah, and shed his blood for all of us, he sees us as neither male nor female Thank in you. his body. Thank you. So why are we dividing in our churches? Why are we dividing ourselves up into groups of men and women and the women can't do this? Because Thank you. God doesn't use women. It's just not true. It's Glory not. To God. It's not biblical. It's we got not, that? It's, it's not, not biblical. It is not. Amen. <laughs> Lord Amen. Okay, we're going to continue. It says, it says, but, okay, we got 20, 21. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor God. again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. My God. Okay. Nay, much more, these members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. Yes, glory to God. Hallelujah. I, if I'm a feeble person, okay, if I've got an infirmity, does that mean that I can't work for God? My God. My God. My gift may not be as outgoing as yours, but I am still, some, I am something to the body. And you were placed. Thank you. By God. It Thank pleased you. him to place you where you are. So mm -hmm. who, who has the authority to challenge your placement Thank in the you. body of Christ? And remember now, we're saying that the body is just like the body that we've got here. The what, okay, the human body has that blood that's yes. being pumped. Oxygen. The oxygen, the lungs, yes. the heart, yes. all of these parts. Necessary. And yet each of them are necessary you know, for that body to, to continue. Function. And wait a minute. If one of them, wait a minute, <laughs> if you stub your toe, well, you're going to hurt. And it's going to make you not walk well. Amen. I don't care how you try. Amen. You're going to not walk well. Amen. So your body is not going to be transported from one place to the next as well as it would have if that toe had not gotten injured. Amen. Amen. That is so true. So, so we've true. got to have all these bodies working together. Mm -hmm. And not, if it's feeble, the other parties have to take up mm, the and slack. And that's what they do. Glory to God. They take Hallelujah. up the slack in order to keep that body moving this in the same direction. People can have a kidney transplant mm -hmm. and lose one kidney and the other kidney will function for the both. Thank you. Oh, glory to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. And even with the lungs, yes. you can have a lung resected out of your body yes. and the other lung will inflate again yes. to help you go through. Glory to God. 
but this is what's needed. How much more should Thank we you. in the body of Christ oh, embrace those who are weaker than Thank we you. might be? Instead yes. of intimidating them Thank you. and uh, you know berating them, Thank you. we ought to undergird them. Thank Hallelujah. You. And let them feel the love and let them know that God is no respected Thank person. You. So why should we have that Thank spirit? You. Glory to God. And Wait, and that is it. It's that spirit. Yes, it is. You're spirit. not walking in the spirit of God. You're no. walking in the spirit of the world. Amen. The Antichrist. Amen. 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 To be separated and Amen. to not allow a gift to go Amen. forward, to Amen. be of one mind and one body. Amen. You're walking in the Antichrist. And we know that the world, the world has labeled people as being, uh, what, disabled. They have disabilities and whatever. That really has no place in the body of Christ because Thank God died. He hung on the cross for Thank you. everybody. Thank you. Hallelujah Thank for you. everybody. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, we are, can we get excited? <laughs> Amen. You, okay, we're on verse 23. It says, yeah. and those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, Upon these we bestow more abundant honor. That's where we come in and we help them Amen. undergird, remember? Amen. And our uncommon parts have a more abundant communist. We Amen. help them. Amen. That's Amen. what we're supposed to be. Glory to God. Okay. For our common parts have no need, but God has tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that which lacked. My God. Hallelujah. That, Glory he has to given God. more honor to that which is lacking. So God understands what yes. our weaknesses yes he's in touch with our feelings thank you. and our infirmities thank you hallelujah and it's just awesome that you know in the scripture the blind man the person thank who you caught and named hallelujah the See? woman with the issue of blood See? hallelujah the person that didn't have the ability or the use of their ankles and their legs thank you. glory to god hallelujah but god came in and gave unto them that they might be made whole because they're in the body of Christ. We're Thank in you. his body. There Thank is you. no disability, ha, huh? glory to God, See? in the body of Christ. Thank you. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, and it goes down to 26. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Remember we were talking about Amen. that sub toe. Yes. And one member be honorable, all the members rejoice with it. Yes. And that's what we're glory supposed to, to God. do. We're supposed um, to be of one member. Amen. We're supposed to work together. Amen. And we get that from one mind. There should be one mind, you know, and okay. it's a, a, a renewed mind. Amen. It's a mind that has been transformed to be the mind of Christ Jesus. And Amen. when we have that mind, we're not looking at our brother and our sister in their Thank flesh. You. We're looking at them in the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's all Glory right. To God. We're going to take a little break right here, and we're going to come back because this is a discussion I want us to continue Amen. to go. Amen. It's about being of one body but many members. Thank Amen. You, so stay tuned. Praise the Lord. We're going to welcome you back to the Total You. And this is our discussion on one body with many members. And if you remember, we stopped at verse 27 of 1 Corinthians 12, 27. And we're going to just finish that of 27 to 31. And then we're going to continue discussing with our guest. Amen. And again, reintroduce yourself again. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. I'm Apostle Cynthia Gaither, and I just count it a privilege to be before you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Apostle Cynthia is going to help us discuss this last portion. Now, I'm going to read verse 27 to 31. It says, Now ye are the body of Christ, and member in particular. Yeah. And God has set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that, miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Are all workers of miracles? Have all the gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? But covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet show I unto you a more excellent way. Now remember we're talking about how there are many members in that one body of Christ. And Paul was talking about how he gave them different administrations. Yes. Like remember we've got different parts. We talked about the total you. Got the mind, body, soul, and spirit. Yes. Different members to make that total you. Yes. Well the Christ is also divided. The church is also divided up into yes. different portions. Yes. And here Paul is talking about the apostles. Yes. The prophets. The yes. teachers. Yeah. And they're all 
set in motion by God. Amen. 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 They're set in motion by God. Now, I'm going to get, forgive me, it's Apostle Cynthia. Yes. Okay? Now, a lot of people have trouble with the apostleship. Yes. So we're going to have the apostle describe what she has been called to do. Amen. Glory to God. God is a good God. And the word apostle seems to upset many in the body of Christ, mainly because they look in the beginning of the New Testament where Jesus had the disciples. Mm -hmm. And of course those disciples are not with us today and they were later known as apostles. Right. And so there are some doctrines circulating around that the apostles are dead, that there are no longer any apostles. Okay. Glory to God. And we see here in the scripture mm -hmm. uh, that it says, and God has set some in the church. Yes. The apostles were set in the church by God. The prophets were set in the church by God. And right. we can go on. The teachers were set in the church by God. And then verse 29 says, well, are all apostles? Well, Thank no, you. because these are gifts and callings Thank you. from God. Hallelujah. And I did have the ordination from other apostles where they laid hands on me and the calling of me as an apostle. And I learned, I came to understand that what an apostle does, like the apostle Paul, we know that the apostle Paul was not with the twelve. Okay. He said he was not caught, right. uh, with them at the time that they were, they were in ministry Thank and you. were Thank called. You. Glory to God. But he had a revelation from God. Hallelujah. But the tradition comes in and says, well, if you weren't with God and you didn't see God, how can you be an apostle today? But we don't have anywhere in the scriptures where God has said, well, all my apostles are dead. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. We find out in the book of Ephesians, mm -hmm. the fourth chapter, that God gave as gifts to the church. He gave some gifts, and one of the gifts he gave was apostles. He gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, some teachers. Amen. And he had a purpose in doing it. Thank you. It was for the perfecting of the saints. Glory to God. Are we perfect yet? No, we're not. We're striving toward perfection. And so we need these members in the body of Christ so that we can all come into the unity of who Jesus is, the unity and the fellowship. So an apostle goes and sets churches in order. They don't go to a church to overtake the church, to uproot it. But where there are things in the church, and because they have been set in the church as a gift to the church, they walk as a gift to that particular assembly to set them in order. It's been my experience here to go around Detroit, excuse me, and go to some churches where they didn't have a baptismal pool. And the Lord sent me there. I didn't know that when I got there, but the Lord would tell me to tell them, you need to be baptizing these people in the yes. name of Jesus. You need a baptismal pool. Whatever it is that God wants to do to set the church in order, that's what apostles do. They travel around, Thank hallelujah, you. to help the angel of the church, Thank which you. is the pastor set the church in order. Amen. And we know that our whole faith is built on the apostolic doctrine or the Thank teachings you. You. of the apostles. And that is not dead. Glory to God. So now uh, I've been challenged. Well, did you raise anyone from the dead? <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't really know. I know that I have laid hands on people. Okay. And I know that people have recovered. I know that I have cast demons out of people and people have been delivered. And so I don't know that. I know that Mark 16, 15 through 18 says, these are the works that follow those that are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And so those things are evident. And I do have to say that like Paul, I did have some dream or vision or something where I saw the Lord, okay. glory to God, Hallelujah. 
And so I don't think the body should be challenging, mm -hmm. hallelujah, these titles of apostle and prophet and whatever. We ought to be thanking God, God for thank the you. gifts because we're not going to be perfect without the gifts that God has set in the church. And so we give God the glory. And I'm going to say this thank too. You. It says, he says, and God has set some in the church. Yes. Okay. Yes. Go back to that part because yes. that's the part. It's, it's in, in the, the church. church. It is. Are we church. not the church? Amen. We are, are the, the We are the body of Christ Amen. in Amen. this day. Amen. The church has not gone off the scene. No. It has not been dissolved. We are the church. Yes. Yes. So if that is said, and if he has Amen. set them in church, then the apostles, Amen. the prophets, the Amen. these are all Amen. things that still have to be in the work. Amen. Amen. So, it's still something we have to do. Yeah. Amen. So we need to pray and not Thank be you. so quick to attack those who say they're apostles or they're prophets or they're teachers or they're Thank pastors you. because if they come and they come and it is not real, you won't see a prophet anything Thank you. Thank there you. in the first place. Right. Their word won't come to pass. Their works will go to naught. Glory to God. But we should embrace Thank all of the members in the body of Christ because it is one body with all of these members. And see, the thing is, okay, you said the apostles comes to help the, the pastor. Yes. If it has a takeover spirit, then you know it's, it's not, not of God. No, no, no. You're if not that person to... comes in and dissolves what's already amen, there, then that's not of amen, God. Amen, amen. Then you back, wait, wait a minute. And that's what's been going on. A amen. lot of people come in and to they, because over. I am an apostle, they okay. feel that they can take over and dissolve this and come in and just uproot no. things. Yeah. That's not what the apostleship is that's, supposed to be that about. That is out of order. Thank really, you. Really, uh... To me, apostles are another ministry of help. Thank you. Glory to God. Thank you. To help the church. We are Glory to edify to the body Amen. of Christ. Amen. And that's what it's about. Romans 8 and 9 says, if you have not his spirit, you're none of his. You've got to go down in the water. You've got to have a spirit of repentance. You've got to acknowledge that Jesus hung on the cross, that he died for you. Your sins are forgiven. Hallelujah. And so you need to come on and come into the body of Christ. We welcome you right now with open arms. Hallelujah. We have no judgments for you. We had to go down that same avenue. And so we just beseech you by the mercies of God that you would repent and come over to Abundant Faith Cathedral. Let us baptize you in the name of Jesus and put you in the ark of safety. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. We thank you. Please come out to see us. This is your first lady, Maurice Wallace. See you next time. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>